friends. Have you ever discovered once you make a certain fun fold card that you become a little bit obsessed with it and can't stop making them? That's what I'm going through right now with the slim tent cards and they're probably one of the most simple and easiest fun fold cards I've ever made. But oh my goodness, I'm having the best time making these and I know you're gonna love making these too. So during today's video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to make this card. I'm gonna share some variations of this fun fold card and I'm also gonna share lots of samples with you. So without further ado, let's start stamping. Okay, so I am going to use basic black cardstock and um, you want a strip that's eight and a half inches long and then you can basically cut it as, um, slim or as wide as you want. So for this card, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do eight and a half by two and a quarter. I'm just going to slice that down and then I'm going to flip it around and along the eight and a half inch side, I'm going to score it at five and a half. Okay. So that is my slim tent. Simple, right? so simple but I want to put some designer series paper on here so I'm bringing in this designer series paper and I'm gonna cut a two inch strip I'm just gonna cut it two by twelve and then because this is two and a quarter by five and a half I want my designer series paper to be a quarter inch smaller so it's gonna be two by five and a quarter and I want two pieces I'm going to do all my cutting in one swoop, so I'm going to get some basic white. And this is also going to be two by five and a quarter. Okay, so that's it for that cutting. There will be some die cutting in a minute, but I'm going to put these pieces together first. This is so, 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 so easy and so simple, but holy moly, I'll tell you, you're going to be addicted to these. Oh my goodness, I can't decide what pattern I want. This is the um, stamp set I've chosen to use, so um, I'm going to go with the blue. I'm going to go with the blue pattern. stamp my sentiment on the white before I put that in so I'm going to stamp um, what am I gonna stamp I'll stamp my heart is with you every step of the way and I'm not convinced that's gonna fit it might be too that's just gonna fit actually I do believe okay I'm gonna stamp that in black that on scrap paper yeah my my M had a little bit too much ink let's see that is just gonna fit on there Whew. close oh you know what I'm gonna stamp some birds too because I like these little birds And what else? Let's stamp, because I want to pull some of that blue in. I'm going to bring in some pool party. This um, designer series paper is part of that pattern party host reward paper. And I, I do use it a lot. And I really love it. Probably not going to need this whole thing, so I'm just going to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that on here and this is where I'll um, write my little message is on the top flap okay so now it's time to decorate I'm going to bring in my bear and I think I'm going to use my stamparatus Okay, so the first thing I'm going to stamp is that same image I just used on the inside. 
just tap it there. And inking it with my pool party. I'm going to bring my bear in, put him here. Oops. And I'm just going to stamp him with stays on, black stays on. A lot of this is going to be cut when I use my die. I just, like I said, I haven't decided what die I'm using yet on this. Oh my goodness, I love this. Oh, while I have that out, I'm going to stamp some birds here, which again may or may not show up with the die. And my little ice colds. There we go. Okay, I'm going to stamp this also with pool party. stamp this down here where he's standing I'm just gonna put this on a block actually stamp that there Probably good. Probably good. I'm not going to do a whole lot of coloring on this one. And I'm just going to take my clear wink of Stella and just kind of pull some of that color in. Just kind of put that down here. I'm going to bring in the balmy blue and with my clear wink of Stella, just pick some of that up. And just put that down for the water. And again, a lot of that's not going to show once I use my dyes. I just want a bit. Okay, I have decided to use the diorama dyes for this card. Okay, so I'm going to go cut that out. Something like that. And then I'm going to use the next size up and cut that with the designer series paper. And then I'm going to use the next size up and cut that from my black. Okay, so I'm going to glue this piece onto my black. This one lines up on here better. I'm going to use dimensionals for this one. Okay, so now I want to glue that onto my card. And that is going to go on the front like so. And you can obviously put this as high or in the center, however you wish. Okay, and I'm going to put a bow on there. I am now going to bring in the thinking of you and that's going to go on the front of my card. So let me pull a scrap strip of basic white and I am going to stamp this in uh, in my black. I didn't get the bottom portion of that stamp. Let's do it again. There, that's much better. 
then I'm going to just cut those words out and let's grab my dimensionals I'm just going to take my blending pen and pull in some of that ink from the outline into the wings. So you can keep the card just like that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more little step. And once you start making these, you'll see what I mean with all the different variations and the different ways that you can make these. I'm going to put a little strip, a two and three quarters by five and a half inch strip of cardstock behind this and that's going to pull out the color of the water and just give us an extra um, color. Isn't that fun? I really love making these cards and I like to put the designer series paper on this strip versus the top portion so that when it's standing that's what you see. You see that pretty um, inside instead of all the writing and stuff like that. So I am completely obsessed with making these cards. I'm going to show you a whole bunch of samples now. So prepare yourself. There's lots. So I went a little bit nuts with my squirrel set this is the nuts about squirrels and i needed to make some birthday cards and so i just made all kinds of cards same designer series paper that i used on the polar bear actually um keeping it simple also with the diorama and i'm going to show you some different variations and on the inside i put more uh, frames on the inside whereas this one I didn't do that so you can definitely put frames uh, your die cuts I should say on the inside to write your message here's another one using different designer series paper different ribbon the inside and then this one was just using different die cuts that I already had and you can see that this is also um, slimmer so this one's two inches across instead of the two and a half inches so that's why I'm saying you can really play with um, the width that you want here's one with the circle dies perfect designer series paper for the little squirrels here's another one that I made three inches across So here's another one that I made. This one is using the Welcoming Woods stamp set. Let me show that to you. This stamp set is retiring, so if you want the set, you need to get it before it's gone forever. But I love this stamp set, and look how beautiful that came out. Okay, now I have some sneak peeks to share with you. Um, cards, slim tent cards that I've made using new product. This is one of our new celebration stamp sets coming out in January. It is beautiful, beautiful. And the paper that goes with this is also gorgeous. So let me show you the card I made with that set. And look at that. And that's with um, the rectangle dies. Like how pretty. And there's the inside. And they all stand up. They all fit in a regular envelope. Next, what do I have next? Another celebration stamp set. This is called Awesome Otters and it's adorable. I mean, look at their little faces. How sweet, right? So I made, I made some cards using this 
um, stamp set and some new designer series paper coming out so here's one saying it's birthday time and that's the inside I still have to stamp up on top there but look how sweet and I just cut the little flowers out of scrap paper this is new designer series paper also coming out next month so I just cut three little flowers put them on and our holiday um, rhinestones that we have that's what they're from is those yellow rhinestones and just put his little birthday banner on and uh, here's another one playing around with this guy and this is a great way to use up scrap bits and paper too and who says that these have to go on straight up and down or straight across so you can really play and have fun with these cards and just use up your bits and pieces Here's another one that I made, also using this um, awesome otters and the inside. And this is using all new products. So this embossing folder is incredible. So this is part of our new bouquet of love um, dies and the bundle with the stamps. And look at that. The heart is in the center and you've got that little space around it. So let me show you. Here's one of the dies that fits right inside that heart. And then on the inside, I didn't cover it up. So you can see it's smooth around it. And then your heart like, oh my gosh, is that not beautiful or what? And then to cut it, I used this die from our, um, from our seasonal label dies. And this is also retiring soon. So I love those sets of dies. And I, I wanted to make this a masculine card. And this can be used as an anniversary or a birthday. And I mean, sweet, right? So sweet. You are utterly awesome. I have a Christmas card that I made using this slim fold. And I want to show you what I did here because I've been having just way too much fun here. Sweet Little Stockings, also retiring, and its coordinating dies work so well with our new Awesome Otters celebration set. So while this comes with a birthday hat, I wanted to use the little Santa hat with my little otter. So are you ready for this card? Oh my gosh, I loved this card. Here it is. Look at that, guys. Look at that. This took me this took me some time because I had to keep walking away from it and coming back and playing with it. But I loved how this turned out. And notice again that the die cuts do not have to be center on the um the flap. Oh yeah, there's the inside. This stamp set is from the Gifts Galore Paper Pumpkin Kit that um I think was our last last month's paper pumpkin. Um, but look, I cut the, um, the Christmas lights out of a scrap piece of designer series paper. I added the little hat on my otter from the sweet little stockings. I also stamped on a scrap piece of our white velvet paper. So this is actually white velvet. And so is the little pom pom. I put some of our fine tip glue on his eyes and his nose and also on the lights and that's why I've got the dimension. I put clear Wink of Stella on those lights first and then I put on the fine tip glue and let it dry. And then I used the gifts from the Sweet Little Stockings and cut them out with the coordinating dies and put them on. That's also from the same stamp set. Yep, I have fun. I had fun making this, let me tell you. And they stand up really, really well. They all stand up really well and they all fit in a standard envelope. Now, there's one more last one I want to share with you I used another new stamp set coming out in our mini catalog one of my 
probably one of my very favorite stamp sets and that's that's a tough call because we have a lot of amazing stuff coming out but I absolutely love this stamp set in the moment and this image here which I can totally relate to well I can relate to them all but with the book and the dog leaning against her I thought wouldn't that be great for a bookmark because I think you could turn these into bookmarks easily so I had to try that so let me pull in my book, which by the way, this is a fabulous book. So when I open it up, there's my bookmark. And it's got a magnet. I glued a magnet behind each one. This is the back. So I stamped, sometimes the most productive thing you can do is relax. And on the front, I used my marker and my stamparatus just to stamp, be good to yourself. And look how it's all colored. I paper, I did a little bit of stamp and blends, but then I did a lot of paper piecing using some of our new designer series papers. So of course you could use this as a card or you can make your little bookmarks and like I said I just made this a little bit smaller but you can use the same size you eight and a half by two or eight and a half by two and a half and just um, score at the four and a quarter mark but I, I didn't I just wanted to go ahead and use a smaller strip so you can really see the possibilities of this slim tent cards so I hope you enjoyed today's video Please leave comments and let me know if you make some of these slim tent cards and I would love to know what you think and I'm sure you're going to have lots of different ways and ideas of using this fun fold in your crafting. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Take care and happy stamping.